Congratulations. Okay. So aporeplon disease is caused by a complex of organisms, including all mycetes or water molds, nematodes, and fungi. So the disease is therefore very difficult to control. So currently, broad-spectrum fumigation with pic 13 d is used for management. However, we are all wanting to use more environmentally friendly options, but these are unfortunately challenging. So in the USA, brassica seed meals has been identified, but unfortunately the specific seed meals are not available in South Africa, and this treatment is also three times more expensive than fumigation. Another option is anaerobic soil disinfestation, also recently identified in the USA, which um, we think does have potential and is economically feasible. So we started a project this year for which we don't have results yet. The focus of my talk today will be on looking at organic amendments, mulches and compost. So there are two options, either checking whether um, application during the lifespan of the orchard can prevent carryover of the disease to newly planted trees. So there's only been one study in the USA that looked at this that showed that it is ineffective, therefore no more research is required. Alternatively, um, the organics can be um, applied at planting and during the lifespan of the orchard. So unfortunately, there has been several studies looking at this and the all over conclusion is that the results are very variable and it's not reliable. Therefore, we concluded that um, and hypothesized that if we add semi-selective chemicals to the organics, maybe we can um, make this a viable and reliable option. So semi-selective chemicals target the all mycetes, metallaxyl and phosphonates, which are applied at planting, fluorpyrum against some of the fungal components, and also either phenomifos or fluorpyrum against the nematodes. So in a, our previous trials we used phenomifos, but because it's red label, our current trials, which I'll show, was using flaopyrum. So the first aim of our study was to look if we can apply organics preventatively to prevent the carryover to new trees. So we had five semi-commercial orchards where three treatments were applied, untreated mulch and mulch plus compost. Um, for more than 10 years, so after the spurious, we sampled soil from the treatments and we used the apple seedling bioassay to determine ARD suppressiveness. So unfortunately, in three of the orchards, there was no suppression by any of the organic treatments. Then we did have one orchard where the bioassay showed that the compost plus mulch, but not the mulch, was suppressive, as you can see from the increased seedling growth in the green bar. But then, unfortunately, also we had one orchard where the organics actually increased the ARD severity, as you can see by the reduced seedling um, length. And this we could see was because the organics actually stimulated some of the causative agents in this specific orchard oil, soil. So the second aim was to look at curative treatment, so applying the organics at planting and up until five years post-plant. So we had several treatments and we had four orchard trials. So I'm just gonna focus on this last treatment that was compost plus mulch with two of our semi-selective um, compounds. Unfortunately, two of the orchards did not have ARD which was evident from the fumigant versus the untreated control. However, in the other two orchards, there was um, ARD and there was a significant correlation between the increase in trunk diameter and yield. So therefore, I will only show you the yield results. So this is the yield of the first year for the first orchard. And as you can see, this soil had a low ARD severity, so we got a 19% increase in yield that was not significant from the control. However, it was still evident in this orchard that our organics plus the semi-selectives um, was ineffective since it did not differ from the control and was less effective than the um, pic 13 fumigation. In the other orchard, we had two years of yield and this orchard had a higher ARD severity, resulting in a 50% increase in yield. And in this orchard, the organic amendment was very effective 
in the second year even outperforming the fumigation treatment. So therefore, to conclude, mulch or mulch plus compost cannot be used long term to prevent the carryover of ARD to newly planted trees due to variability, and the same with compost plus mulch with our semi-selectives is that it provides inconsistent control, so we will be doing new trials trying to see if we can amend our semi-selective mix to improve this. And altogether, our studies show that it's really challenging managing ARD due to the wide causative agent complex and that vary from orchard to orchard site. Then I would like to thank my two postgraduate students, Rochelle and Doray, for doing all of the research, Backer Vessels for trial design and helping me with the semi-selectives. And then, of course, a big thanks to all of the growers that provided trial sites for us. Thank you.